The fifth episode of the F1 Driver Files is based around the most recent Irish driver to race in Formula 1, Ralph Furman. The Irishman, who was actually born in England, started his racing career in British Formula Vauxhall in 1993 and 1994. He would then move into British Formula 3 in 1995, where he tragically lost the championship at the final round of the season. He would then redeem himself in 1996, winning the British Formula 3 by a 40-point margin. He did a great job considering that a future F1 star in Juan Pablo Montoya also competed for the title in 1996. Furman's next move was to race in Formula Nippon in 1997, but he was made to wait until the final race of the 1999 season to collect his first win in Formula Nippon. He would remain in this category until 2002, and although he would only start on pole for one race in 2002, Furman would go on to show good racecraft and win the 2002 championship by just two points on the final day with a third place finish at Suzuka, sealing it. He racked up four wins and finished on the podium eight times in ten races. He also had a few stints in the Japan GT Championship during this time, and narrowly missed out on the championship in 2002. Furman made the big step into Formula 1 in 2003 where he signed with Jordan, despite Felipe Massa being the favourite for the seat. Even though the second driver Jordan wanted to pair up with Giancarlo Fisichella was originally meant to be a commercial driver, Furman was actually paid by the team at the end, thanks to Jordan signing a new £15 million sponsor deal with Benson and Hedges that ensured Jordan would keep racing in Formula 1. It was a very frustrating start for the season for Furman, who endured retirements in three of his first four races. But he would bag his first point of the season at the fifth race of the season at the Spanish Grand Prix with an eighth place finish. Furman was getting well beaten by Fisicala for a lot of the season, and it wasn't much of a competitive head-to-head -head battle between teammates. Furman suffered a horrific crash at the Hungarian Grand Prix, where he lost his rear ring on the straight approaching turn four, and had a massive shunt into the tyre barriers, knocking him out unconscious. He missed two races due to this, and made his return for the final two races of, of the season, which turned out to be uninventful with a retirement and a 14th place finish. Furman was outqualified by Fisichella 12 times to 2, and was beaten in the standings 13 points to 1, although admittingly Fisichella's 10 out of 13 points came from a win in what was really one of the most bizarre races of all time at the Brazilian Grand Prix that year. That singular point Furman secured was enough for 19th in the standings. Furman was in contention for another stint with Jordan in 2004, but Jordan instead opted to sign a completely new driver lineup of Nick Heitfeld and Giorgio Pantano. After Formula 1, he would have a few cameo appearances at various Le Mans series such as the 24-hour race, and he would also have a stint at the A1 Grand Prix series. But his main focus will be back in the Japan Grand Tour Championship between 2005 and 2013, with his best year coming in 2007 where he won the championship with teammate Daishuke Ito. He also finished runner-up in 2005 and 2009. Furman would retire from racing at the end of 2013, and most recently, he runs an engineering company called Ralph Furman Engineering. I tell you what though, I only give it a 1 out of 10 for creativity, sadly. In conclusion, while I think that Ralph Furman was a great driver in the lower categories of racing, I just don't think he was the right man to drive for Jordan in 2003. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more F1 Driver Files videos and tell me which driver you want me to do next.